Hey everybody, this is Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, which means it's a recipe plan with me. And this time I am doing a recipe for gingerbread cookies. This is my recipe organizer from the Happy Planner. And I am trying to do one recipe a week on Thursdays and it's working out good so far. I will put a link to this planner in the description box below. If you like this video and are interested in seeing more recipes from me, just be sure to click that subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I put out a new video. The first thing I'm doing is writing the name of the recipe at the top of the page using my Tombow dual brush marker. It's my favorite pen and I will link this in the description below. It's actually in the description box in all my videos because I have my favorite planner supplies down there. So if you're interested in seeing what those are, you can check that out. Since this is obviously a Christmas type of recipe, I thought I would go into the rainbow, the big rainbow sticker book, and use some of the red and green little icon stickers to mark the ingredients. Now I'm just filling out the sidebar with some information. I actually have never made this recipe. This has been passed down from a friend's mom and she used to make these for us every year and they're super delicious. So I'm gonna mark the difficulty at five because it's a, a cutout cookie recipe and for that, those are always more challenging for me. So, and since I've never made it, I'm not sure, but I think it would be more difficult than your average cookie recipe. I noticed that the red seasonal book has some gingerbread cookies in there, so obviously that was perfect. And I kind of like the look of all the stickers on this page. So I thought I would mainly use these to decorate this recipe. I thought these poinsettia stickers would look really cute for marking the pre preparation steps. So I'm going to start by putting one down right here and then I'll write in the first step. The most challenging thing for me about writing these recipes is I don't know how much room I am going to need for writing it in. So I'm always afraid I'm going to run out of room. If I, if I finish it before the end of the page, that's fine because I can always add stickers, but I haven't run into a problem yet with running out of room, but I hope I don't. In the recipe that was given to me, it does say three cups of flour at the top, and then it says five to six cups of flour in the steps. So I'm going to contact the person who sent this to me just to clarify, but I think basically what you need to do is just use five to six cups of flour or however much is necessary to make a stiff dough. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just grab some scalloped washi tape. I love using the Bug Design washi for breaking up the sections on these recipe uh, planning pages because I think it just looks really cute and it gives some decoration. So I'll put a link to this set in the description box below. I use these a lot. I'm so glad I purchased these. I think I got them on scrapbook.com. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna put some red at the top and then some green at the middle. I thought it would actually be cute if I followed that curved line at the end, so I'm just going to cut that with my craft knife, and I really like how that turned out. In addition to the cookie part of the recipe, there's also a recipe for frosting, and I couldn't fit it at the bottom of the page, but I thought it would look good on the sidebar there, so I'm just going to take a flag from the rainbow sticker book, and I'm going to put it down and cover that notes right there, and then I'm going to write my frosting on the side. Thank you. 
I also don't need that part where it says serve with and I can't white it out because it's a beige color so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a another flag there and I'm gonna use a green one just because you know to balance out the red and then I'm gonna write in the rest of my frosting recipe on that I want to use one of those gingerbread cookie stickers I saw in that seasonal pack, so I thought it would look really cute up there next to gingerbread cookies because there's that white space. So I'm just gonna white out where it says recipe and put it down there. There are some additional notes I need to write about this recipe at the bottom and I saw this green present sticker and I thought it, the bottom needed more green to balance out that red there so I'm just going to put that down. That's it for the writing and there's that space at the bottom so I thought I'd put a couple more poinsettias there to kind of bring that design across the page. I'm almost finished here but I thought that the top right hand corner looks kind of bare and I don't really need that section because I don't know what it serves, didn't need to write the main ingredients. So I'm taking a green box from the Colorful Boxes sticker book and I'm going to write who the recipe came from. I actually think that's a great idea. I like knowing where my recipes come from, so I might try to incorporate that into each recipe that I put in here. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some inspiration, and I hope that it makes you put some cookie recipes into your planner. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. I'm on there as Planning with Bumble, and I do check that regularly, and I love that whole planner community on there. So if you're not there, please check me out. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.